In this tutorial we'll look at different ways of populating geometry with points. So let's start with just a rectangle in Rhino. And the first one we'll look at is Populate 2D. Um, so you can find these under Vector Grid. There's Populate 2D, Populate 3D, which we'll look at next, and then Populate Geometry. So to populate 2D, um, all you need is a rectangle. So we'll bring in our rectangle. I can just bring it in as a rectangle uh, primitive. And then you can right click, set one rectangle, and you can actually draw one. You can also bring in a curve, so either one works. Um, you then choose the number of points that count for how many you want to populate. The default is 100, so I'll go 1 less than 50. Um, and then if I change this, you can see it'll populate more or less points within that rectangle. You can also do the, uh, change the seed. And so seed, all of these are kind of randomly put in that place. And if you don't like the random distribution, you can change it by changing the seed. So it's still going to be the na same number of points, but a different arra arrangement or organization of those points. Um, and then you can create the, uh, the basically outputs a list of different points, which you can then list item if you want to. Um, the next one is populate 3D. So if I create a box and I bring this box, I could do a B rep or I could create a box either way. I'll just create a box here. I'll bring that in um, and plug that into the region. Let me preview this on, preview all this off. And then I'll just copy and paste these sliders down here. So just like the rectangle, you can choose the number of points that you want to use. Um, you can also choose the, the seed. So if I preview, let me hide this box over here so you can see it better. You can see it then populates on the surface of that box. The next one is populate geometry. So this works for any surface type. So for example, uh, if I preview this off, let's go to the front view. I'll just draw a few curves and we'll make a lofted surface really quick back to my perspective view. I'll just take one of these and move it over and then loft between these two. Um, if I bring in the surface, and I'll just hide it now, you can use that geometry or any geometry and I'll copy and paste these and populate it with points. So in general I tend to use this just because it can be any geometry. Um, but you can see that the same uh, sliders work for populate geometry as well. One kind of nice thing you can do is uh, find, draw lines between all these points and another point. So for example, if I draw a point in Rhino and then bring that point into Grasshopper, so I'll set one point, um, you can draw, you can find the closest point between that point and any point within that field. And this is located under vector point. So vector point, closest point, and then also closest points. So we'll look at both of these. So I'll use this point that I just made, and these will be the cloud of points that I find the closest point to. You'll see it then tells me which is the closest point and outputs that closest point. So as I move this around, the closest point will change um, depending on which one's closest to it. You can also do, if I plug in this point and then plug in the cloud, you can also do closest points, plural. And I can decide do I, how many points do I want to select that are closest to that one point. So for example, one, it'll find the closest point. But then if I increase that to four, it'll find the four closest points and etc. cetera. 